Hello, Merry Christmas, and this is the Christmas gift for you for the paper free business analysis. So, the gift today is just to be a personal mnemonic for the culture web that you use that again and again in the paper free exam if the examiner asks you to do that. So, in the paper free, you're required to analyze the culture within your company, always use the culture web to generate as many marks as you can. I'm going to use my own mnemonics for this. It's called PS Cross. So first of all, let me explain uh, what do they stand for then. So PS Cross. So first P stands for the paradigm. So that means this is the mission of the organization of what you tend to do, what you aim to achieve. And then the second S stands for structure of power. It mainly talks about who governs the organization. So in some of the startup companies or small companies, the CEO will control the entire organization. But for some of the large listed companies, of course, the board of directors will control the organization. And, they work, and the way that they work was, will be quite different. For example, for the startup companies, because one CEO will control all of his company so that it's mainly based upon his own belief of what to do. Not necessarily making profit, but sometimes, for example, helping others. But for those populist companies in particular, because we've got many of these shareholders in there, so that the structure of power will be delegated to the board of directors, will primarily responsible for those shareholders that they're working, uh, they working for. So for example, they care about profit in those organizations, for example. So C, stands for the control system. So for example, we are looking at the reward system, where not with, uh, the employees, after they work uh, so hard, they will get the reward from the company or they will be punished. So this will affect their motivation within the company. And R stands for rituals and routines. So that stands for the day-to-day -day operation or the activities they undertake within the organization. So for example, lots of these companies um, will organize the staff to, for example, have some sports, for example, play badminton, play basketball every Tuesday. Or in some of the companies, for example, they will allow the employees to play computer games after work together to relax themselves. That will be the rituals and routines. And surely some of the employees will value this so that they stay within the company so long. The next O stands for the organization no structure. So this can be linked with the structure of power because the organizational structure can either be the flat structure or tall structure. So tall structure, you can always see that, for example, in the school. So for example, an example of the public sector organizations. So because, for example, if the tall structure of organization exists, so that means if you have an idea and you want the company to implement it, that would take a lot of time to do that. So in, in that circumstance, for example, the employees will be demotivated as a result of it, perhaps. So find the two S. First of all, we've got symbols. So for example, if you are the finance director, if you stay within that company for at least 10 years, I'm going to give you a sports car, I'm going to give you a fancy car, I'm going to give you a house, I'm going to give you a nice office, so that would be a symbol. And finally, stories. So, 
Many of these leaders within the organization will tend to tell the story to its employees in order to motivate them. Particularly, uh, for example, if you tell the uh, story to my employee, okay, if you work very hard, you can be a billionaire because I'm already a billionaire, for example. So those will be the stories that is valued by the leader or the organization, so they decide to convey them to their employees in order to motivate them. So when analyzing a culture within a company, you can always follow the PS cross mnemonics here to analyze all those aspects within the organization. So let's put this into the actual exam standard question just to extract from your P3 pass exam paper in your next page of your notes. So it said, Ron has set up a company with 25 employees and employees are expected to help Ron in personal tasks such as booking holidays for their families, filing in his personal tax returns and organising social events. And surely that will be the rituals and routines because that will be the day-to-day -day running of the business by the employees. And all of his employees at the company are only given the minimum holiday allocation. Of course, that would be the control system, as you can see, because the reward system is not very good within that company. And perhaps we can comment on the employees will be demotivated as a result of this. Next paragraph, they also have to use this allocation not only for holidays, but also for events such as visiting the doctors, attending funerals and dealing with domestic problems, emergencies. Yes, though, those will be the example of the control system as well. And Ron is particularly flexible about holidays and work hours, has even turned down the request for the unpaid leave. So that means it's up to Ron to make all of his decision, so that will reflect the power structure or the structure of power as well. And in contrast, Ron is often away uh, from work for long periods, sailing in various parts of the world. So that seems to me your primary, po uh, your primary objective is not to make profit, but rather is just to relax and enjoy your life. Okay, so that will be reflected in the paradigm within the culture web. Ron is increasingly critical of the suppliers trying to sell me in a low quality goods for higher prices and customers paying late and society, uh, I mean, is quite lazy. So if that's the case then, that would be the story that is conveyed to the employees that everybody is not doing a good job. It also has also been in dispute with the tax authority who is accused of scorting his hard earned money as well. So those were the stories that's told uh, by Ron to the employees within the organization. So here we go. So that's how we integrate the culture web into the question in the paper three exam. On to your next page of our also attached the ACCA's answer for this question as well. You can self-study that on your own. So, good luck with your paper free exam in the upcoming sitting. APC, accounting for your future.